Hello and welcome to everyone who's new here and welcome back to everyone who has been here. Uh, my name is Jay and today we are going to be taking a look at Surf's Up. <laughs> Right off the bat, I'm going to start this off uh, by saying that I love this movie. It was one of the five movies that I watched so many times growing up that I memorized the script. The other four movies were Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Speed Racer, Spider-Man, and get this, Jingle All the Way starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, which I do plan on covering uh, in Christmas. Those of you who have never seen it, it is amazing. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Highly recommend. But back to the matter at hand being Surf's Up. I really enjoyed this movie. And I, I think most people who have ever seen it also really, really enjoy this movie. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a, a, a parody movie uh, of surfing documentaries that came out in the 90s. Uh, specifically, it, a lot of the plot actually follows a movie called North Shore, which I don't think is a documentary, but I do believe it, 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 they have very similar plots. This type of uh, parody documentary thing is actually called a mockumentary, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, so the, 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 the type of film this is, is a mockumentary comedy. Uh, it was produced by Columbia Pictures and Sony Pictures Animation, and it was distributed under Sony Animation. One thing that I think this movie does really, really well is the camera angles. It, it really feels like it's a documentary styled uh, uh, camera points of views. Uh, and how they actually achieved this was through motion capturing, which I think is really cool. Cody! I know he's out here. I can feel it in my nuggets. Man, aren't you nervous out here, Joe? In the jungle, it's kind of dangerous. Dude, the jungle is the most peaceful place on the planet. But speaking on the animation, the characters themselves were a little rough. Going back now, oh, tw almost eight years, isn't it? I don't think I did my math right. I didn't do any math, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna just say eight years. I think I'm wrong though. If I'm wrong, then, then the, the actual number will be on the board. <laughs> like I was saying, the, the character animation itself was a little rough, even for that time. It was a little rough. However, the ocean, the way they animated the, the water and the scenery was truly spectacular. I don't know how they did it and I wanna find out how. If you know, let me know down in the comments. But the, the way that they edited the, or made or drew or however they did the water was so spectacular. I loved it. It was fantastic. Wow, it is lagging bad. So while I was doing research for this movie, I came across a, a little, little no, uh, uh, at least to me, unknown fact uh, that there is actually a Surf's Up 2 called Surf's Up Wave Mania. And uh, it was released direct to video and it had John Cena and a bunch of other like big WrestleMania type people. And uh, for those of you who want me to cover that movie, the, the three of you that there is, I probably won't because I'm good. <laughs> it's, uh, it does not look the greatest. It does not look the best animated, does not look anything like remotely good. Uh, however, this movie surfs up one, if you will, was animated or nominated for uh, best animated feature in the 80th Academy Awards, uh, which I think is, is deserved. I think it was deserved to be nominated. I, I haven't looked up what the other uh, movies were up for the, uh, whatchamacallit, so I'm going to do that real quick. Which one? Academy. 80th. All right, so from what I've found out the three movies that were up for nomination in 2007's Academy Awards was Ratatouille, uh, Persepolis, and Surf's Up. I've never seen Persepolis, so I don't know anything about that. I have seen Ratatouille, and out of the two films, I can understand why they, they went with that, as it was a Disney movie and it was better animated and 
more of an actual story and not not necessarily a parody but i i still think it deserved the nomination at least and i'm i'm really happy that that it did get the recognition that it deserved and i really think if you guys haven't seen it you should treat yourselves uh, it's available on YouTube. That's where I watched it. it. I think it's also on Amazon Prime or you could just get the discs. Uh, it's such a good, it's such a good movie. If it, it, the vibe of the movie is so peaceful, just a feel good, like ride or die kind of a movie. And the, the soundtrack of this movie really just builds on that and emphasizes it. For those of you who are unaware early 2000s music was just a vibe it was just an era of music right there's there's no real way to encompass or recreate the feelings that early 2000s music made it's the same way as you can't do it for the 80s music or the 70s music or 60s it's the same thing where you ju you just can't recreate it and it sounded as good or even close to being good. This soundtrack was, in my opinion, stacked with some of the greatest songs during that era. And I'm gonna see, just because I'm assuming that some of you guys are gonna be a little young and don't actually know any of these songs. I'm gonna see if I can't play a little, little, little tiny snippet uh, just to jog people's memories. If if the screen goes black out of nowhere, it's totally not because of copyright. <laughs> but, so you have Stand Tall by Dirty Hands. Say what you say, I just say the way. You have Incubus by Drive. Whatever tomorrow brings, I'll be there. Welcome to Paradise by Green Day. Welcome to Paradise. You get what you give by New Radicals. And many, many other songs that are just so good. They're genuinely really good music. And, and the fact that they just have the entire movie riddled with just uh, such, such good music. Going off of, of, of the general vibe of the music and the movie in general, you can't have a good movie without having good voice actors. And they ha it has a stacked cast. You have some of the most, at the time, like influential voice actors or, or actors in general. Like the guy who plays Geek or Big Z is Jeff Bridges. For those of you who don't know, Jeff Bridges is also the Big Lebowski. And other things, but I, I most know him from The Big Lebowski. Then you have Shia LaBeouf, who I most know from the Shia LaBeouf song. Lurking in the shadows, Hollywood superstar Shia LaBeouf. And also Holes. <laughs> and then the the other, or the third like main character is uh, Lonnie, who is voiced by Zoe Deschanel. For those of you who don't know who that is, um, let's just say her name is... Yeah. Now, one of the last things that I want to cover is, and just because it, se it seems to be like the one of the very last things that I tend to cover is the, the amount of money that the movie makes. And I seem to have forgotten to write that down. Let me look that up real quick. Da, 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 da. Where is it? There it is. Wow. Okay. Huh. That's kind of surprising. So Surf's Up had a budget of $100 million. Um, which is a lot of money. Uh, not really a lot of money when it came, comes to making movies now, but it was a lot of movie. It was a lot of movie. God! It was a lot of money back then. And the movie took home $152 million. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay, anyways. Uh, train of thought is all over the place. I, I clearly was not properly prepared to make this this video it is it has been a it has been a ride i don't know if it, you probably will end up seeing some of it there's been a lot of lagging it's been a little bit of a rough go at things my script was half-assed i clearly did not do 
do my due diligence with it and I don't feel like rewriting and re-recording even though I probably should <laughs> god it has been a um, yeah okay anyways back to surfs up I really enjoy the movie. I think you guys will really enjoy the movie if you have a similar personality to me. If you haven't seen it before, I highly recommend watching it. Um, I, I, I genuinely can't like express that. <laughs> I can't express that enough. I think you guys will enjoy this movie. And um, yeah, that's this has been a rough video. <laughs> if you're still here, thanks for watching. I promise next week's video will be a little bit better. I don't know what is going on today. I think it's just, I think it's because I'm recording this on a Monday. That's probably what it is. I won't record next week's video on a Monday. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. So I, with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Jesus.